This video is sponsored by FontLab. Long shadows have become an enormous design trend in the past decade, but uh, most design software doesn't have a way to make them. You know, it's sort of been the holy grail of design trickery uh, ever since Google came out with material design icons a while back. Previously, if I wanted to do long shadows, I would have to take this text into Illustrator, uh, manually create all this by myself, and then uh, bring it back in here as an SVG or something, and then break it apart and recolor it if I wanted to do that. Well, not anymore. So let me show you how to do this trick. So I'm going to take a new text box. Let's create one here. And I'll say, editable long shadows. And let's go ahead and center justify that, make it large. And just to stick with the formatting I had on the previous slide, I'm going to do Arial. Uh, I'm going to do Bold. And let's go ahead and tighten up that kerning to make it kind of sophisticated looking. Um, and, you know, here, let's just channel the exact same look and feel. So I will do a picture fill. And then I'll turn off tiling of the picture. Uh, it's already sourcing the picture from the folder I have it in. So this is that four color gradient. And uh, first of all, let me do the gradient fill on the text. So I'm going to go to my text options and go to gradient fill. Uh, let's do linear. And now I'm not going to try to grab like all of these colors, but uh, probably three is enough. So let me sample this color here. And then for our middle value, I will sample the purple there. And for the last color, I will sample this blue. And that will make this thing, oh, uh, we want the angle probably to be straight across or maybe angled a little bit. Well, either way, we're getting close. So as you are aware, um, the only shadow options we really have in PowerPoint are these kinds of shadows. They don't create those long shadows. Um, and, you know, even if you sharpen them and everything, you can sort of fake it, uh, but only for a little bit. You know, it's just not it's not the same thing. So let me go ahead and turn that off. And uh, what you do is you go into your 3D format. And under 3D rotation, let's go to parallel. And so I'm going to create an isometric view. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. Let's just do this one. And then let's go to our depth and start making the depth longer. So now we can kind of see what we're doing. Um, now I'm going to turn off the X rotation. I'm going to set that to zero. I'm going to set the Y rotation to zero, and I'm going to set the Z rotation to zero. Um, now let's go ahead and make that depth 1,000 points. Turn our contour off. And then one click of the X rotation, and then one click of the Y rotation. Uh, and then let's change the, let's see, let's make our depth like a purple, like a darker purple. And now that leaves the dark parts of the contours here. So we'll make the contours that same dark purple. Oh my goodness. Make our contours that same dark purple. turn that size down to zero. And then under lighting, we'll choose this neutral value. So it's actually a 3D extrusion. Um, but what we have now is editable text with the long shadow effect. And you know, we did rotate it just a little bit. So it might be off axis just a tad here. And if you wanted to, you could correct that by going into the Z rotation. Maybe just give it a slight nudge. Oops, maybe 359.6. 
there. That's pretty straight. So yeah, that is how you can create long shadows in PowerPoint. Um, you can also adjust the length of these by changing the depth size. Let me try what 500 might look like. So there you go. There's editable long shadows in PowerPoint.